everybody, welcome to Manju's Diary. This is Neha here and today I'm going to be reading the book Scary Mouse. And if you haven't subscribed our channel yet, do subscribe and let's get started with the book. In a small hole behind a cupboard under the stairs lived a large family of mice. The youngest was called Squeak. Squeak was a small mouse, a scared mouse, a stay-at-home mouse. One evening, Squeak was woken up by his sister Nibbles. Let's go to the kitchen, she said. I've just seen something yummy, a chocolate cake as big as a wheel. Squeak! Squeak loved chocolate, but he was very scared. What if I get lost? He worried. What if we meet the big ginger cat with green eyes? The ginger cat's asleep, said Nibbles, and I know how to stop you getting lost. Nibbles fetched a big ball of string and tied one end round Squeak. There, she said. All you have to do is follow the string and you'll find your way home. They scurried out of the mouse hole and into the dark, shadowy hall. Squeak kept close to Nibbles, trailing the string behind him. But as they crossed the hall, Squeak saw a long, stripy tail. It's the cat! It's the cat! he cried. Squeak ran this way and that. Harum scurrum round and back. Don't be silly, said Nibbles. It's only a scarf. Squeak slowly came out of his hiding place. Through the dining room, scamper Nibbles and Squeak, under the table and under the chairs. But just as Squeak was about to eat a biscuit crumb, he saw two eyes gleaming in the dark. It's the cat! It's the cat! he cried. Squeak ran this way and that, harum scurrum round in the back. Don't be silly, said Nibbles. Only a toy. Squeak smiled nervously. Into the lawn, they stole past the fireplace and past the ticking clock. Suddenly, Squeak froze in his tracks. There, peeping above the arm of the sofa, was a head with two sharp ears. It's the cat! It's the cat! He cried. Squeak ran this way and that. Hurrum scurrum, round and back. Don't be silly, said Nibbles. It's only a cushion. Silly me, said Squeak. Into the kitchen, tiptoed the two mice. Across the floorboard and past the cupboard, Squeak peeped inside. He shivered and shook. There in the shadows was something furry. It's the cat! It's the cat! He cried. Squeak ran this way and that. Home scurrum. Round in the back. Don't be silly, said Nibbles. It's only a feather duster. Phew! sighed Squeak. Just then, Nibbles spotted the chocolate cake on the table. It didn't take them long to find their way up to it. Soon, their paws and whiskers were licky and sticky with chocolate. Yum! sighed Nibbles. I could eat all day. Squeak was a hungry mouse, but also a worried mouse, a scared mouse, a want-to-go-home mouse. So, Nibbles scrambled down the fridge, and Squeak and the cake followed. They heaved the cake across the floor, but just as they reached the door, a shadow fell across their path. It's the cat! It's the cat! cried Squeak. Don't be silly, said Nibbles. It's only the cat! Run, Squeak! Squeak ran this way and that, hum scurrum, round and back. The big ginger cat narrowed his eyes 
open his claws and eek! Bounced. But the cat found himself caught in a web of string. The more he struggled, the more he began tangled. Until soon, he was tied up like a fat ginger parcel. A mad cat. A sad cat. A feeling of fool cat. Squeak was no longer a small or a scared mouse. He was as bold as a lion mouse. And the next time he met the big ginger cat, he just said, Boo!